Oh, oh, oh. You are watching episode 38 of the Daily Decrypt, newest independent members of LTB Network. I'm Amanda, your host, and today's episode is brought to you by Newbits. Digital content creators who would like to timestamp the art that they make and put it in a blockchain forever to, for all to know that they were the first creator of this art can now do so using a service called Ascribe. The service takes proof of the artist's identity and then a hash of the artwork itself and makes a cryptographic identifier which is then embedded in the Bitcoin blockchain. And for artists and art buyers who would like to transact in a realm of scarcity, I don't know why you would want to do that, but some people do. A scribe will also create a capped number of cryptographically verified editions of that piece, which can then be auctioned off as easily as sending a Bitcoin transaction. Here's an example. The digital file of this Star Wars trading card is currently going for $100 in Bitcoin. ForkPay is both a Chrome browser extension and a website which lets you pay a Bitcoin address using a crypto that is not Bitcoin. So currently you can use Litecoin, Dash, Doge, NXT, Bitcoin Dark, or Peercoin to fund this address. They do the conversion to Bitcoin and then pay the address for you. And I mention them, ForkPay, because they today have become the newest company to launch a crypto equity token on the NXT asset exchange. And more and more small companies are starting to do this, both on the NXT asset exchange and the BitShares asset exchange. And how is one to do their due diligence when deciding whether or not to invest in a given crypto equity? I don't know because I'm not that smart, but the market is super smart because it combines the knowledge of all of us. And so I think that we're going to start seeing some very interesting solutions for rating and judging crypto equities uh, start to spring up. And that's, that's going to be neat. And of course, when it does, you'll hear about it here first. And the embedding stuff on the blockchain news just continues. Maybe you already knew about Bitproof. I didn't. Bitproof is a service which will notarize your documents for you by taking a hash of them and putting them on the Bitcoin blockchain. You could do this yourself, but not everyone wants to do that. And they've started by notarizing university diplomas, actually. But their forthcoming service is especially interesting to me, which will be a notarizing of contracts. So what you would do is upload a PDF of your signed contract with you and whomever you're contracting with. And then each of you uploads a video of you saying like, yes, I agree to this contract. You know, nobody forged my signature. I agree to it. And then a hash of all of that is taken and embedded within the Bitcoin blockchain. And then you have recourse should you ever have to seek mediation for breach of contract in the future. And how much will this service cost, you ask? $500? No, it couldn't be as low as 100 could it? $20. <laughs> it makes me laugh, it's so cheap. And like, imagine combining this contract making process with like a multi-sig address, right? In which your mediator already holds the third key to the multi-sig fund. And like, justice, done, taken care of. It's so cool. I don't sound bullish on private justice, do I? Holy Bitcoin Black Friday is coming up just around the corner and I implore you to stay home and shop rather than go out. Like it could actually save your life. People actually get trampled to death on Black Friday and blah. So anywho, if your shopping list this Friday so happens to include gold, silver, palladium or platinum, check out rrbi.co, which is Roberts and Roberts, who will be giving all of their profits this Friday, as they have done in the past also, to antiwar.com. Roger Veer wants to buy your old GPU mining hardware. Yes, that's right, your old graphics processing units. The Bitcoin Jesus put out this call at forum.bitcoin.com, and he's looking to buy between 20 and 50 individual units. And why does the Bitcoin Jesus want all this hashing power? I admit my initial thought was that he is going to build a rocket ship, which either reveals my lack of knowledge of how rocket ships are built, or my intimate knowledge of how to formulate double entendres. Either way, if you've got the units to sell, 
Email the Bitcoin Jesus at roger at rogervere.com. Today's episode has been brought to you by the groovy people at Nubits, who frickin' figured out a way to peg their crypto unit pretty much exactly to the US dollar at all times, and they do this using crypto equity. So people on the new network hold tokens called new shares, and these people cast votes on monetary supply, which keeps the new bits pegged to the dollar. I am continually humbled by how many smart people there are in the world doing smart things. Anyway, visit newbits.com if you would like to learn more about all of that. And if you do the blue, check us out on facebook.com slash the daily decrypt. Goodbye.